Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Baron, and I'm still exploring the catacomb catacombs beneath okay, okay. Can yes, I the Evelyn. No, no, that's another game. The catacombs beneath um, the Camel Keep, the library. Oh, shit. Uh, you have need of me? What do you want? I say we can let <laughs> Don't bother me. Yes. It's dead. I'll do my best. Oh, that's all we get. Here. Okay. okay uh, can I help you? Oh, yes. yes. What would you have me do? Hmm. Okay. How about we form up? I don't know. Here. All right. All right. <coughs> What? Who are you? It is about time you got out here, Pratt. It is Pratt, isn't it? I don't need to tell you that we must not keep the Saravok waiting. I trust you didn't have any trouble in there. He said that the monks fell for the ruse and that Hey Blomi was locked up so he took the surface route out of the keep instead of meeting you in the crypts. We really must get moving if we are to catch up with him. Er, uh, yes, Pratt, that's me alright. What was the point of us waiting in the crypts again? The point? Did Saravok not tell you? I suppose he might not have. He does have a tendency to only give information on a need-to-know basis. It hardly matters now, though. The monks of the keep are firmly of the belief that Heiwajar Blumi murdered the Iron Throne leaders with no provocation. Heiwajar Blumi has been locked away now, and by the time they are sent to Baldur's Gate for trial, Saravok will have full control of the city. Heiwajar Blumi's fate will be his to decide. You and your band were not needed to guard the boss's escape route after all. Everything went as planned. Shall we go now? Hmm. Where exactly are we supposed to meet up with this Saravok? Back at the Iron Throne base in Baldur's Gate, of course. He has business elsewhere in the city, but no doubt we shall get our bit of coin if we await him there. There is still much left to be done, so I doubt he will show for a while though. The disgrace of Heiwajar Blomi will make the road smoother, but we must still act fast. Saravok is notoriously impatient. Let's get moving. The Saravok person. Who is he supposed to be again? Who is? Did he identify himself to you while in his monk disguise? Coveras will be whom you met then. Not a terrible original alias to be sure, but who is going to tell him that? Zervok is quite used to getting his own way, and I gather subtlety is something that doesn't quite come naturally to him. He doesn't have the patience for it, though his mind is amazingly tactical. Certainly this made him perfect for organizing the Iron Throne's mercenary forces. Though I doubt his superiors would say so now, what is his plot to have them killed. Such is the trouble with highly highly hiring highly motivated people. As underlings we can safely serve. But woe to those in the position he desires. We should keep going. Right then, off we go to meet with Cerebral. Don't want to have him attacking us like Realtor and the others. That... that was never the plan. Cerebral wouldn't sully his hands on those he didn't deem worthy of personally killing. For Heiwa Chablomi and the party to be blamed, they were either to be intimidated intimida in imitated by doppelgangers or fooled into attacking Realta and the others unprovoked. You should know this, you. You're not friend, are you? Oh, bloody hell. Bit of a mistake on my part, wasn't it? Ah, well, most of it went according to plan regardless. You'll forgive me if I don't stay for fisticuffs. Cheers. Yeah, and I, I will let him go. I already killed one character that I wasn't supposed to, you know, kill at that time. And that um, screwed me up quite badly, so we just leave it be. Where is Imoen? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Your wish? Hurry up! <coughs> Where is she going? I really hate the way finding routines with this game. 
What would you have me do? So how about we leave? If you insist. Get the fuck out. Okay. I met DR mid outside of the candle keep crypt and he mistook my group for that of a cohort of his named Pratt. He spilled the beans and revealed that it was self explained to have me accused of the murders of the Iron Throne leaders, whether I could be goaded into the act or not. Doppelgangers were to impersonate me and ensure I would be blamed. With my party wanted by the law and Brunas and the others dead, Serok thinks he stands unopposed. He has returned to Baldur's Gate and plans to take control of the city somehow. Like using his leverage as the new head of the Iron Throne, so I should probably check their base out again. His end goal seems to be war with M, but his reasons are still not clear to me. Awesome! Now that worked nicely. How about we leave this area? Life continues to be quite the challenge. You have been accused of murdering the Iron Throne leaders, and the Flaming Fist will undoubtedly hound your every step because of it. Despite all of this, you must return to the city of Baldur's Gate, the very lair of your accusers. You must find and expose the one who is responsible for your predicament. You must find Saravak. Okay. Let's do it. Chapter 7. coming guess who's first I will, you know, visit the source of sundries because I have a few things to sell, actually. Greetings, fellow rogues. Hi, guys. <coughs> Remember your old bud, Hazel? <coughs> it's so good to see you all again. Lots has happened since you were gone. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing all sorts of things. I heard you guys are wanted for murderers. <laughs> so you're murderers, eh? Well, I still like you. Hey, I have some more info for you. Do you want to hear it? What do you have for us? Well, hehe, <laughs> quite a bit I have, quite a bit. Does you know that Duke Elton, he's deceased, he is? His second in command, <coughs> Scar, got killed, assassinated he was. Oh. So that's it. I got to get going now. If you want to talk with me some more, just come by the Blushing Mermaid. See ya. Okay. That was a noble deed. So I wanted to go to the Sorcerer Sunbreeze. If you insist. That was here. Hello there. What the fuck? Shh. I must talk to you in private. These are troubled times. Wait, I must speak with you. It is of utmost importance. Will you wait and listen? that you want. Good then, I'm Delta. you. I represent those who harp. <coughs> I have been seeking you out for many weeks now. Just recently I discovered that you had left the city some time ago. Things have changed since you were gone. I can tell you everything you need to know. Of course we do. The second in command of the Flaming Fist Scar was assassinated. Grand Duke Elton has come down with some mysterious ailment. No one knows how long he has to live. The most important news for you concerns the recent return to Candlekeep. Your recent return to Candlekeep. You've been accused of murdering the leaders of the Iron Throne. Everyone believes that you are agents of M. They think your persecution of the Iron Throne was just a cover-up for M. Tensions are run pretty high now. 
the new Iron Throne President Serebok has placed a prize on all of your heads. The Flaming Fist has a warrant for your arrest. Before I continue, tell me, are you guilty? No, we were framed. I'm relieved. Now we must speak of your future. From what our network has gathered, the Iron Throne is preparing to make a grab for power in the Baldur's Gate. It would be in your best interest to investigate what they're up to. Perhaps if you could break into their citadel, you might learn something. I know these are very troubled times for you, but you know more about the Iron Throne than anyone else. If you have any questions to for me, ask them now. I'll be gone for the next few days. Hmm, who killed Scar? From the evidence found uh, where he was murdered, it would seem that the Shadow Thieves killed him. I think that is far too convenient to lay the blame for that organization. I would assume that the Iron Throne remains involved in some way. What clues incriminated the Shadow Thieves? The signature mask and the letter were left on Scar's body. So, do you have any other questions? Yeah, but actually I would have a few more, but I don't seem to be able to get them. Fine, he's in the three old kegs in if we want to talk to him more. I apologize for not being more open, but these are troubled times. If I could be permitted to speak for a moment, I believe I have something that you would want to hear. Perhaps we could help each other? <coughs> oh, dang it. Tam Moko. If your information is of worth, then yes, I would indeed be interested. I shall explain myself in further detail when I have time. Until then, I have but one thing to say. The one who claims to heal Duke Elton's sickness is also the one who breeds it. Likely there have been signs that suggested this to you, but no one have said it so plain. No doubt you have the wherewithal to follow through on it. Your very nature gives you above average competence. Jorai Gorin's tutelage could only have enhanced this. Oh, don't speak that name. I'll not have you sully the memory of the only family I've known. But that was the f not the family that knew you and knows you now. I think you feel the pull and I think you strain against it still. Now again you see that I know much of you, perhaps more than you know yourself. There are three things that are strength incarnate. There's love of life, there's fear of death and there's family. A family that loves death would have a strong pull indeed. Can you feel it? Can you feel him? He hates you, you know. Who hates me? What have I done to deserve such hatred? What have you done? You exist and chaos will be sown. That is the way it was intended. For I hope to change it. I must go and you must go to Duke Elton. Protect him from his own healer. I will wait near the Flaming Fist headquarters. We shall speak again and I shall have something to ask of you. Okay. Well, well, well. And here comes the rest of the party. Uh. Quiet. Alright, yes. alright. So, let's sell a few items. Do I have anything that I could sell? Can't sell those levels. Buy it, buy fucking it. Why don't you buy it? Oh, I guess I know why. Inventory full. Fourteen. 
Now everyone is tired. How unpleasant. No, not you. I guess she can buy yes. a few more swimming stones. Okay. Your wish? Let's get going. So we have to go to the Flaming Fist headquarter and to the Iron Throne headquarter. Where shall we go first? I say we go to the Iron Throne headquarter first. Where was it? If you insist. Iron Throne. Where was it? Here. Yay. Very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gorion would be proud of your actions. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes. Okay, in we go. You must gather your parts before strange. venturing forth. Yes. What was that? Was Leave me be, or the guard will have you. Daniel, out of my way, Interlupa. I'm getting off this stinking ship as fast as I can. Why are you so panicked? Is not Sarah in control? I will not debate that he is in control, but at whatever his plans, they certainly do not have the good of the Iron Throne in mind. He has abandoned us in favor of his new position, that of soon to be appointed Grand Duke. We are simply to be cast off, and I would not be surprised if the, he marches the Flaming Fist through here tomorrow as a show of his stance on mercantile crime. Sarvak is to be Grand Duke? How can this be? Quite simple, really. He has built up uh, support by pledging to combat the very chaos he himself was sowing. I imagine he'll have a fantastic success rate too, seeing as how he is in total control with our leader's dad. I doubt that he will settle into a nice, uh, quiet political life though. He seems set on causing as much destruction as possible, and I think he's intent on pushing for war with M. Why would he pursue such a destructive plan? What could he gain from it? How should I know? I am no diviner. I only know business and what he is doing makes very little economic sense. Had he wished to grow rich from dealing at all, then I would have understood. Had he kept the Iron Throne intact, he could have used his upcoming position as Duke to sanction Am and increase our trading power over groups like the Knights of the Shield. As it is, he is seemingly intent on abandoning us and launching a bloodbath of war. Notice, the people believe in Serbok and it will take more than a blade to reduce his stature in the eyes of the public. How can people believe in him? Can they not see his nature? People see what they wish and they really wish to see a savior. He offers stability and seems able to deliver. That is more than anyone has been able to give them so far. I tire of this chatter. If you feel you must strike me down, do as you wish. Do not expect me to wait around while you do it though. No, then just go. You said something? Who are you? Peng Wallen. Who? Get out of my way, I don't care who you are, I just want out of here. And just who are you? 
Peng is the name, and I'll thank you kindly to get out of my way. I don't care why you're here. Take all you wish if you are thieves. I just want to leave. That Serac has become too big for his britches. Our leaders were the day dead before he declared the Iron Throne to be his. <coughs> then you won't mind if I help myself to your coffers, will you? Bah, they are nearly empty regardless. Serac has been making decisions on the sidelines for some time now. It has cost us all plenty. He does not seem concerned with profits or much of anything. The iron shortage became his pet project, but he has used it to inflame tensions instead of building business. He has brought us down as sure as if he was some hero. What reason he would have to provoke a war, I don't know. Enjoy your looting. I'm leaving for good. Okay. Where are the stairs leading up? Oh, here. So, let's see what we can find here. Yes? Gregor, who are you? Have you business here? Ah, what does it matter? Everything's in shambles. I expected more resistance to my bringing in. What's going on here? There is very little going on here, everything is falling apart as we speak and one person is to blame. And just who might that be? Serok is the foul spawn that surely did the deed. He craves the power of the Iron Throne, but for what purpose I do not know. He throws away gold like it was copper and uses our best laid plans to inflame governments instead of bargaining for wealth. He is in line to become a Grand Duke because of his efforts to fight his own chaos. But I doubt his coronation will stop his lust for carnage. Who are you, by the way? What are you doing here? Hmm, I'm here to clear my name of the murderers of the Iron Throne leaders. Is that who you are? Then I owe you a knife in the gullet for what you have done. What? Did Saravok trick you into killing them or did he just do it himself and then blame you? I'll kill you just to be safe, I will. For my father, someone will die tonight. Okay. Hurry up! Boom. I move on. What would you have is you insist? Oh, oh, dead already. Oh. What did you drop? Yeah, that's nice. We got 650 XP, that's not really much. A short sword does one. Hurry up! Anybody else without a ticket here? Very well. What do you need? Tralitha. Oh, wonderful. I recognize you from the descriptions given. You are the one accused of murdering our leaders, are you not? I suppose you are here to exact reven revenge of some sort? Well, we are already defeated by one of our own and you do not need you. And do not need you. You would do better to focus your efforts on Sarah rather than beating up those already beaten. Uh, why would he return? His, why would he turn his back on the Iron Throne? Because he was never interested in us in the first place. The Iron Shortage was an elaborate plan to gain power in the region. It was to strain relations with Am, thus reducing the activity of the Knights of the Shield, and ultimately reducing trade with them through legit, leg, legitimate means. We would step up to monitor the sanctions and pocket hefty sums in the process. Such was the plan, but Serebrak apparently had other ideas. What ideas? What do you know of his plans? I know his methods, but I do not understand what he hopes to accomplish. Likely he assassinated Duke Elton so he could step in, but political gain does not stem from, does not seem to be his goal. He would have had plenty of economic power as the head of the Iron Throne, but money was not his concern either. He seems more interested in prolonging the tensions with M. Uh, though uh, what a war would get him, I do not know. We are no longer in a position to profit from it. What do I care? I just want to leave before we return over to the guard. Goodbye. So I guess he pretty much screwed the Iron Throne too. Well, well, well. We will still kick his ass. It's just a matter of time. Let's see what else we can find out here. If you insist. 
exist. Apparently, there's nobody here. Oh, who are you? Touch me not. You are unkind. I don't like the way this group is turning out. Better you there, stand your ground a moment. I demand to know what is going on here. I have been sent from Sembia to determine why this branch of the Iron Throne was has foundered, and I have found no one who will stand still more than a second. What in place is going on here? Well, why not ask Sarah? He seems to be the one in control now. Sarah, that upstart? Then the rumors I have heard are true. Our regional leaders here are dead and Zerovac has assumed their roles. Such arrogance! No doubt you had a hand in their demise, I'll wager. That will explain why we have not been getting reports on progress here on the coast. But what could he be up to? I shall have to report these findings to my superiors at once. What is your name and rank here? I shall report of you as well. Uh, Lieutenant Hamish Aplomi, in charge of security. Hey, would you blow me? I heard that name before, but where? No matter. Consider yourself dismissed. The Iron Throne <laughs> washes its hands of this place and shows support it no longer. You are no longer needed. Inform the others, will you? Or don't. We don't really care at this point. Good day and goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what happened now? I have met Kalesia, an emissary supposedly from a far off headquarters of the Iron Throne. She seemed surprised that Selvik had taken control of his regional base. Uh, he is thought of as an upstart who does not have the interest of the Iron Throne at heart. Sarvok is to be a Grand Duke stepping in to replace Enter Silvershield and he has the full support of the people. He has promised to restore order and since he created the Chaos I'm sure he will be fairly successful. Some members of the Iron Throne would not be surprised if he was behind Enter's death. Uh, likely the other dukes are in similar peril. Sarawak seems bent on causing destruction and the smallest diversion is crushed viciously. If he's pursuing war with M, is he pursuing war with M? What good would this do to anyone? Hmm, I guess we will find out. No time to chit chat. Real thing. Why hello, hey which upload me? I suppose we should have expected you coming here. Bit of unfortunate business in Candlekeep, eh, Wood? Hmm, what do you know of what happened there? I know that you are the unwitting dupe of Sarawak, as were we. It would seem that he sacrificed our leaders just to discredit you, knowing that you were perhaps the only ones that stood in his way. Of course, he also became our leader of the Iron Throne himself, but he seems quite beyond needing us now. Such disrespect to throw us away as he did. It hardly matters now, what with his coronation imminent. I am sure the Duke of Palace will never quite be the same. I must go. Pleasure chatting with you. Okay, what else do we get? Right. Do you have anything to add? You Mr. Want bartender? Some I got some cheap I beer for ya. I'm not in dialogue mode. Why can't I talk to you? You want well. some whiskey? I got some cheap beer I for you. I don't ya. like the way the is turning out. Better leadership might help. What would you have if you insist? Let's I don't like get. the way this group is turning out. Merchants. Better leadership might help. I love money. Yes, I do. Mm. He doesn't have anything to say. So I guess we should move up those stairs. Your wish? Very well. Hmm, what do we have here? Move it. Best you make peace with your demons before I send you to meet them. So you have come back. If you were smart, hey, would you go me? You would have left well enough. You would have left well enough alone. Huh? If you were smart, you would have left well enough alone. Doesn't make no sense. I don't know how you escaped my lord's trap at Keep. 
But you don't won't be getting any further in here. Why did you come back here? I would have thought that you'd go off to Serok directly. <coughs> hmm, someone told us that this would be the place to go. Who told you to come here? Who betrayed my lord? It was Tamoko, wasn't it? I always knew her to be a traitorous whore. Well, it matters little if she did or not. All that matters is that you will die. Oh, really? Fine. Boom, baby. How about we attack you and I'm. Hurry up! It. All right, all right! Is she dead already? No. What would you so have me do? I do have lots of fireballs. And I'm going to throw one in here. Now she's dead. <laughs> So we kill you too. Who are you? Yes. Use your sword. Hurry up! What your name is Ook and your name is Ark? <laughs> Guys. I think much ah. clearer with, with rest. Well done. Well done. What would you have me do? Oh, I ought to <laughs> Wow, so we got 1254 and over and 2004 Sithandria. I guess you need some healing now. Nature servant awaits. Thy temper shield. Your wish? Nothing. I've just about seen enough waking our slave driver. Oh, I'm getting a little sleepy. Mage of cold, uh, mage robe of cold resistance. Uh, what's that? A letter. Serbog, I have received your letter, and I'm. And am quite overjoyed by your proposition. I have told my wife and she is as excited as I am. I accept your mission and I think that your payment is very adequate. This will be our greatest feat yet. To kill three Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. We will be arriving in Baldur's Gate within a week. and should be taking up our usual residence at the Undercellar. If you wish to contact, contact us, you will find us there. Use the access points to the sewers. Try for yours. Who would help? Slife. Sarvak, I must say that our first victim was not the challenge that my wife and I had expected. That foolish idiot had only the most token of defense. However, I can assure you that Antor screamed quite deliciously all the way to the end. I hope that this next mission is much more difficult for what you have told me it would seem to be. Assassinating two Grand Dukes in their own palace while they harangue the high nobles of Baldrigarth no less. I can't wait. You still know where to find us. You should come down and enjoy the pleasures of the Undercellar yourself. But if I know you, that will never happen. Your obedient servant, Slythe. And what's that here? The Diary of Serebog. Diary. Uh, 14th of Elaine, 1367. Today, Cormuor has instituted the ban against the Iron Throne from operating within their borders. While this is a great blow to the Iron Throne, it is the perfect opportunity for Realtor to approach the Throne High Council with his proposal. If things go well, we should begin operation within the year. 25th of Mob Penoth, 1367. Deveron has sent a message to Realtor informing him that the mines of Cloak would have been drained and are ready for use. This revelation should have greatly in convincing the Throne High Council. 2nd of Nighthawk 1367. The Iron Throne Council has agreed to support Railtar's plan. He has been given all the resources he needs, as well as leadership of the project. I have expressed interest to my father, and he had promised to include me within the operations along the Salt Coast. He mentioned Mother in our conversation, how I wasn't to be unfaithful to him as she had. He made it clear that I would suffer her fate as if I was. The threats are weak and hollow, and I shall listen to them for only so long. I have decided to take this time 
to make my visit to Candlekeep. I have waited long enough to research the prophecies of Alundo, and I must know if the dreams speak the truth. I will not believe the words of phantoms without proof, and the priests of Baal I have confronted gave me nothing. He was an old and he was old and died quickly in my grasp. If the words are true, I shall surely groom stronger acolytes than this. Oh, this is a lot of text, though. My research has gone well. The monks here at Candlekeep have been quite helpful. From what I have read, it would seem certain that the blood of Baal does indeed flow through my veins. Oh, through your veins also. His prophecies are, of course, ambiguous, but I think I understand them. He foresaw his coming death and seeded his essence across the land. The children born, as a result, bear the marks of chaos, have power with no direction and shall feel the blood of a god within them. The death they bring shall awaken the father and through them he will rise. But it does not explicitly say, but obviously this means that, that death brought by the children will cause them to ascend. Fitting, and since the, Lord, uh, since the father was the lord of murder, Providing one's worth must solve and act in accordance with this portfolio. I begin to see what I must do. Death on a godlike scale. A third of Tarsak, 1368. The monk Orion troubles me. He seems to have taken an interest in my readings. I must be careful to be more clandestine with my research. I wish I could simply kill him, but I doubt I could safely m murder him within his damnable library. 11th of Tarsak, 1860, uh, 1368. I had a dream this night. My mother was talking to me, but as she did, her face became bloated and discolored. Her voice became weaker as she spoke to me, telling me to save her from Wiltar. I could see the garrote cutting into her neck, but I did nothing. It was only a dream. 27th of Tarsak, 1368. I take my leave of Candlekeep now, and not a moment too soon, for I am sure that Gorion has perceived my heritage. One thing that I am certainly of, Hey Witcher Blomi is, in actuality, one of Baal's brood as well. Hey Witcher Blomi has all the markings, and it would explain Gorion's curiosity of my studies. Though there is nothing I can do now, I will have to make certain to return and kill the little brat. It would be foolish of me to let one of my siblings live, especially one being brought up by the Harpers, and I am sure that is where Gorion's allegiance lay. Fifteenth of Mutual, 18, uh, 1368. Today, today I met with Realtor in Baldur's Gate. The fool still uh, insists on calling me his son, and for now I will let him. He assumes that I am loyal to him because he raised me. Well, loyal I am, but only as long as he is useful. He set up base in the mansion of a destitute noble family and says that everything is running smoothly. Mullahay has established himself at the mines of Nashkel, and his cobalt minions should be already busy contaminating the iron ore. Only a few slaves have begun to mine out the ore at Cloakwood. The realtor assures me that once the bandit raids begin, we'll have a steady supply of new slaves. 8th of Hammer 80, 1369. I met with the, leader of, with the leaders of the Chill and Black Talons. I have little liking for Ardenor, the leader of the Chill, but Taugos seems to be a man of his word. It's a good thing, as I'll have to work with these mercenaries for the rest of the year. 13th of Tarsak, 1370. Everything proceeds well. The ore coming from Nashkel has started to deteriorate, and my mercenaries have been doing a fine job at destroying any iron caravans en route to Baldur's Gate. So some of my mercenaries, uh, though some of my merchants have been captured, most think they work for the Sands, so no trouble has fallen on the Iron Throne. I am sure that the sense at Darkhold won't be pleased to know that the name has been falsely used. I will have to vary for sent agents in the coming month. 28th of Tarsak, 1370. I think I now have the time to deal with that old Kodja Gorain and his little whelp. I will have to inform my men that I'll be gone for the next few weeks. What? I can't really read that here. What of Myrtle? I don't really see that. What's that? No time to write, but I just but I must not neglect my journal so. The future dead must know how the Lord of Murder again came to them. I shall hire a scribe when time allows. Things have not gone completely as I have planned, but I will still be able to salvage the situation. 
Hey, when Jablomi is on the move to Baldur's Gate, if I could maneuver the web to Candlekeep, then I would have the perfect scapegoat for my plan. My mortal father, real dies, there to meet with the Knight of the Shield. Um, he has been blocking all my attempts to escalate the hostilities between Amn and Baldur's Gate, and these meetings will only serve to smooth relations. I must rid myself of them all and consume control of the Iron Throne myself. I cannot allow petty business and monetary concerns to interfere. Terribly sorry, father, but my true parentage calls and you are in my way. I shall be sure to instruct the doppelgangers in the exact manner Rialta should die. I think a Garoti would be perfect for the task. The diary looks to be important. You should probably keep this on your person. No shit, really? So I guess we don't really need all those uh, scrolls, all those letters, but the diary probably will be useful. Wow, that's been quite a long video. Anything else to get here? I guess I already looted all that place. More letters? I hold person, I think I already have that, right? Of course. Realtor, my superiors are intrigued by your proposal. I would like to discuss it further, but not through correspondence such as this. The Harpers and Sands have been very active in this region of late. It would be very unfortunate if they tried to disrupt an alliance between our two organizations. If you, Bruno and Thaldon, were to meet with us in the safety of Candlekeep, my superiors would be much relieved. Please send a re response ASAP. To th Father, I received your letter and I can assure you that the mercenaries led by Haywood Chablomi will no longer trouble our operations. I have dealt with them personally. Before dying, they were most forthcoming in their revelations. It is as you had surmised, they were agents of the Centurion. I am also writing to tell you that I cannot attend the meeting at Candlekeep. Some problems have arisen with the children and the Black Talons. They have had trouble working with each other and I am needed there to smooth uh, other over any dissension. I am sorry that I will not be at your side, Sarah Mm-hmm. So I put this belt back in. Anything else to get? Well, it looks like somebody died here. Did I kill you in my last visit? I don't think so. Well, but maybe I just don't remember anymore. Okay. I gave the letters to you. Right. <coughs> so this has been quite a long video. Hurry up! Um, we will end it now and continue the next one. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!